Hi there, this is Paul Crow on spiceofyourblog.com and in this video tutorial we will be adding an image divider between your blog posts. This post was actually, I actually posted this quite some time ago but it's still very and a lot of people are, are looking to, to break up their, their posts with a nice stylish image, image divider and it will go into this area on this test blog that I've set up, it will go into this area here and it's very easily added and I even have a couple image dividers that you can use here for you or you can get your own ones photobucket or Picasso or any of those places Flickr you'll find images of the image dividers that you can use okay so let's look at the steps click layout edit HTML for your blog so that's from the dashboard and I'm in the dashboard so we'll click layout up the top we're gonna click edit HTML and we're gonna tick the expand widget templates box we'll go back for the next step Step two, so we have two options here as to where you want to add the divider. Um, and the easiest one is, is the data post body. Everything below data post body goes below your posts. Everything above it goes above your posts. So we're going to copy that. And I say here, I should say, yep. Press Control F for a search bar to help find the code. And that is the easiest way to find code because in our template there's absolutely tons of it. So find one little piece can be quite hard so we're going to click and hold control and press F and I'm on Firefox so you get the little bar down here I think on Internet Explorer you get the bar up here but it makes no difference so we're going to right click and paste and it jumps directly down to where we want to be okay so we're going to leave a little gap in the middle here and go back step 3 add the following piece of code directly below the code you found from above so you want to grab all this code here copy it and we're going to paste it in here below data post body okay I now must make two changes where the code above has placed your target URL here at the address you want the image to lead to when clicked now you don't have to you can use this example I have here now with this example the image will not be clickable but you know, you may want it to be clickable if you're using something like the RSS feed divider. So I'm actually going to use the RSS feed divider and I'm going to make it clickable. And the second one is to place your image URL here, which is this part. And you can use any images and I give you the examples above and you can just go and search focal bucket, you'll find tons more. But I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to grab this code. I'm going to copy it and where it says place your image URL here I'm going to place the image URL so I'm going to paste it in on top of that and that's, that, that's the image URL and place your target URL here that's where we want it to go to so as it's a feed one I'm going to add my feed burner link that's feeds dot feed burner dot com forward slash spice up your blog ready to roll so let's save and this image divider now is not only a nice divider it breaks up our posts but also it's a nice link for people at the bottom of the posts I'm gonna give it a refresh that will lead them to subscribe to your blog and we all want people subscribing to our blogs and there it is added just like that easy as pie okay I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you add your divider and if you need any more help you can ask in the comments and if you're watching on YouTube you can click in the description to go to spice up your blog and get some great tips for your blog. Thank you.